Taksang Palfyug Monastery in Paro, Bhutan. Paro Taksang, is a prominent Himalayan Buddhist sacred site and the temple complex is located in the cliffside of the upper Paro Valley in Bhutan. A temple complex was first built in 1692, around the Taksang Senj Samdup cave where Guru Padme Samhava is said to have meditated for three years, three months, three weeks, three days, and three hours in the 8th century. Padme Samhava is credited with introducing Buddhism to Bhutan and is the tutelary deity of the country. Today, Paro Taksang is the best known of the 13 Taksang or Tiger Lair caves in which he meditated. Geography Taksang Monastery, famously known as Tiger Nest Monastery, is located in Paro, Bhutan. The monastery is one of the most venerated places of pilgrimage in the Himalayan. The Legend The legend of Takchang, Tiger's Lair, evolved Form 747 AD when Guru Padmasambhava chose a cave on a sheer rock face to meditate and, assuming a wrathful form, Guru Dorji Drillo, astride a tigress, subdued a the evil spirits and the locality. Takchang thus became one of the most important Buddhist monuments in the Himalayan Buddhist world. Tiger's Lair then named Takcheng, Tiger's Lair, was derived when the people in the locality came across a tigress residing in one of the caves. Legend has it the tigress actually was Yashichagil, a consort of Guru Rinpoche, who has transformed herself into the fearsome animal to subjugate spirits. Takcheng clings to the rock towering 800 meters above the valley and is located 2,950 meters above the sea level. It takes about two hours walk to reach the monastery from the road at Ramthanka, 12 kilometers from Paro town. History The history of this sacred place goes back to the 8th century when Padme Samhava, an extraordinary saint who founded the Mahayana school of Buddhism, visited the site. He assumed the terrifying form of Guru Dorhidrolo and cleansed the place of evil spirits to preserve the integrity of Buddhist teachings. An account has it that Yashade Tsajil transformed herself into a tigress and carried the guru on her back from Sinjai Dzong in eastern Bhutan to Takcheng. In a cave there, the guru then performed meditation and emerged in eight incarnated forms. At Takcheng the guru revealed the mandala of Pelchen Dorhifurpa, and delivered sublime teachings to his disciples. He spent four months in the cave, taming and subjugating the malicious spirits, and concealed profound treasures for the benefit of sentient beings. The Founding Tirs Temple was built by Sonam Jialchen, an Yingma Buddhist master, probably in 1508 at Taksang Pelfyug. In 1645 the whole site was offered to Zabdrung Ngawang Namjil, the founder of the nation-state of Bhutan. It was at Takcheng during the Tibetan War of 1644-46, that Zabdrung and his Nying Mapa teacher, Turden Rigjan Nyingpo, first performed a ritual invoking Padme Samhava and the protective deities. Ihe Zabdrung instructed Gilsi Tenzin Rabjai, who subsequently became the fourth temporal ruler of Bhutan, to build the Temple of the Eight Manifestations of the Guru there. Ihe work began on the tenth month of the Water Monkey Year, 1692, and the two-storied temple was completed in 1694. Between 1961 and 1965, the monastery was renovated by the 34th J. E. Kenpo, Shedrup Yozer. Additions were made in 1861-65 and 1982-83, and then in 1992. On April 19, 1998, Tak Chang was damaged in a tragic blaze. It was restored to its original glory by His Majesty Jigme Sinjai Wangchuk, the fourth king of Bhutan. The Shrine of Self-Speaking Guru The story goes that the statue of the Guru was sculptured by Pensa Deva at Punaka Thangdzong and taken to Tak Chang. On arriving at the entrance of the sacred site of Tak Chang, the statue is supposed to have spoken, Do not worry for someone shall come to carry me to Taksang. 
the statue was miraculously transported and, thereafter, the place is known as the temple of the self-speaking statue of the Guru. The shrine contains beautiful paintings of the eight manifestations of Guru and his twenty-five chief disciples on the rock face. It also contains the throne used by Gil's Tenzin Rabjai. All the sacred objects pertaining to the eight manifest ions of Guru were built by famous Niwari artisans Pensa Deva, Dharma Deva, and Dharma Shri. Distance The climb to the monastery takes about three hours on a comfortable pace. Frequent trekker and gym enthusiast can complete it in about two hours. The total distance walked is about four kilometers one way with 700 meter in elevation gained. Like us and join us at Extreme Collections for more fun and knowledge.